Sticky Toffee Thomas. It was summertime on the island of Sodor. The engines were very busy. The children were having a big fancy dress party and there were lots of jobs to do. Percy collected the cakes and buns. Toby collected some sticky toffee to make toffee apples. And Thomas took the tables and chairs. When Thomas delivered the tables and chairs, he saw some children. They were making fancy dress costumes. That looks fun, tooted Thomas. Then the fat controller spoke to Thomas. I would like you to give train rides at the party, the fat controller said. But first, you must go to the washdown so you look your best. Thomas was delighted. He loved giving the children train rides. Thomas puffed to the washdown. He was thinking about the children and their fancy dress costumes. I want to go to the party in fancy dress too, chuffed Thomas. Then I would really look my best. Thomas was soon covered in soapy suds. He was scrubbed and rubbed, rubbed and scrubbed. Then Percy arrived at the washdown. You look like a giant bubble, peeped Percy. That's it, puffed Thomas. I'll go to the party as a giant bubble. So Thomas puffed quickly away, still covered in bubbles. He couldn't wait to show the children his fancy dress. Then there was trouble. The bubbles blew into his eyes. Thomas couldn't see where he was going, and he bumped straight into the back of Toby. Toby's axle was broken. Sorry, puffed Thomas. Soon the fat controller arrived. Toby, you must go to the yard to be repaired, said the fat controller. If I don't take the sticky toffee to the party, the children won't be able to make toffee apples, moaned Toby. Please, sir, puffed Thomas. I could take the sticky toffee to the party. Very well, said the fat controller. But no more trying to be in fancy dress. Soon all the soapy bubbles were cleaned off Thomas, and he puffed away. I must get the sticky toffee to the children on time, Thomas puffed. But he started to think about fancy dress again. Thomas puffed up to the airport. And there, on the runway, was Jeremy the Jet. That's it, chuffed Thomas. I would look grand if I arrived at the party as an aeroplane. Thomas watched Jeremy zoom up into the sky. He thought about his costume for the party. He thought about it for a very long time. Oh no! I've been daydreaming, chuffed Thomas, and now I'm late. Thomas puffed as fast as he could. But he wasn't watching where he was going. Thomas didn't notice that the points had been changed. Thomas puffed into the sidings and biffed into the buffers. Sticky toffee splattered everywhere. Oh no, moaned Thomas. I can't give the children train rides when I'm this messy. If only I'd been thinking about what I was doing. Then 
Thomas saw an old line. This gave him an idea. A shortcut, puffed Thomas. If I go that way, I can still get the toffee to the party on time. Thomas puffed along the old line. It hadn't been used for a very long time. Trees hung over the track, and the bushes were overgrown. But Thomas puffed carefully on. He knew he was late, so now he wasn't thinking about fancy dress. He was only thinking about getting to the party on time. Thomas bumped through the bushes and bashed through the branches. But he was still covered in sticky toffee. Leaves and twigs stuck to the sweet sticky goo. Must get to the party. Must get to the party. Thomas puffed. When Thomas arrived at the party, he was covered from funnel to footplate in leaves and twigs. Everyone cheered when they saw him. I've brought you the toffee, Thomas puffed sadly. But I'm too messy to give you train rides. The children cheered. You're not messy. You're just in fancy dress. You look best of all. Thomas was very happy. The party was a great success. And there was only one thing more popular than the sticky toffee apples, and that was sticky toffee Thomas. <laughs> <laughs>